you see the Southern Cross for the first time, you understand now why you came this way. Cause the truth you might be running from is so small, but it's as big. Good morning, Southern Cross 2020 Star Party from Camp Sawyer, our side of the island. We welcome you to the Boy Scout Camp. You guys are great. We love having you here. Uh, going to be another great year this year. Sitting out here on the dock where everybody's going to be swimming, hopefully. Welcome again. Glad you're here. So this is the 36th annual Winter Star Party. Uh, I've been personally director for 18 years. We're here on about 17 acres of pristine land where we have about 600 astronomers that come from various parts of the country and including Canada and also UK and sometimes even Australia. We have steady skies, which means that the skies are very clear, no movement of the stars when you look through the eyepiece at high powers. What I like to do, I like to do astrophotography. We get to do astroimaging of the southern objects that you normally do not see from northern latitudes. We welcome you to the Winter Star Party. I have perfect attendance. I've attended every one. Uh, since the Everglades, the first three years at uh, Mahogany Hammock in the Everglades, the next three years at the Boy Scout Camp, Camp Sawyer, and the rest of the time here at Camp Wasumke. I do a lot of things, but the basic job is to uh, make sure the camp gets set up for our guests when they arrive and make sure everybody's comfortable. The thing I like about coming to the Winter Star Party is the clear skies, the steady skies, the friendships that you, you make throughout the years. I'm just a casual observer, so I just enjoy observing anything and everything. We're the host of the world famous Winter Star Party held in the Florida Keys every February. People come from all over the world to see our steady skies and the beautiful countryside. We have the ocean, we have southern targets that you normally can't see from the northern latitudes. Personally, I like to come down and do visual observing with a big telescope. I also dabble in some astrophotography, but I'm not quite as good as the rest of the guys, so I stick to the visual side. It is probably my fifth or sixth winter star party and what I enjoy is having beautiful skies and I of course love the people because astronomers are the best people. Uh, I've been coming to the winter star party uh, since 2006. Come down because I need some dark skies in the middle of winter. I have a bunch of friends to hang with and um, you know we're kind of amped for uh, some good weather. Um, this is my seventh Winter Star Party. I love getting away and doing stuff like this, like a campaign. But I also love the people that you meet, the, um, the, the discussions you have with friends, and of course the skies aren't bad either. And this is my fifth Winter Star Party, and it's the only place I can go observing in February in shorts. It's a nice uh, opportunity to get some uh, warm weather and some, some uh, outdoor activities I otherwise would not be able to experience in New Jersey. Yeah, this is my fourth Winter Star Party. Uh, I like coming here because it's a club event for the uh, West Jersey Astronomical Society and I'm a member plus you get nice warm weather in the middle of winter plus you get 16 extra degrees of horizon and uh, it's addictive. It's pretty grueling to come down here uh, in two days but it's worth it because you get to see the more southern constellations sharing uh, a view through a telescope and just socializing with other amateurs who I haven't seen in a long time. We get to hear speakers, have the food, so it's an all-around great time. And, uh, you know, it's worth the 20 hours of driving. I've uh, been coming to the Winter Star Party since 1995. It's an annual thing for me. I, I wouldn't miss it. Uh, just a great time, great people, and the observing is just incomparable. Hope we have another good one this year. I've been coming here to the Winter Star Parties for about five years now. I love it here because of the weather, the dark skies, and it also gives you an opportunity to, to see some of my friends who come from up north, New York and Connecticut. Uh, I've been coming here since 2007. Look at the, look me, it was minus 18 Fahrenheit when I left. Hi, I'm Bob Mulford. I'm here from the state of Washington, the Seattle Astronomical Society, here with my sister, Karen Stanis, who lives outside of Boston. This is my sixth Winter Star Party, and it's her fifth. And we're coming here for the warm weather in February and for the wonderful southern skies and the Southern Cross and Ada Carina and all that good stuff. 
Okay, it's 12 o'clock. Open the gate. Let them in. We welcome you to the 36th Annual Winter Star Party. We hope that you enjoy your stay. And if you have any questions or concerns during the week, please let us know. And now you guys can get out of the sun. I've been coming down here for about uh, 25 years and it's a very magical place where we have dark skies and amazing views of the southern hemisphere, objects like Omega Centauri. I brought two special items with me. One is a night vision monocular along with a special eyepiece to give a maximum field of view with big telescopes. And the night vision allows you to amplify the brightness of a telescope and at the same time with filters, see deep sky objects. The second is bringing the Apollo 11 eyepiece, which has a, an 85 degree field. That's a, that's a special 300 unit commemorative eyepiece for the fact that I worked on the program about 60 years ago. I was tasked to design the visual simulator that trained our astronauts to land on the moon on the LEM project and it was a magical experience and the views through the simulator is what prompted me to eventually start Teleview Optics and bring the wide field views to all of my fellow amateurs. This is my first year here at the Winter Star Party, although Starlight Instruments has been present for a number of years now. I really like how the community um, engages one another and I would hope that um, over the years it, it continues to grow. I look forward to coming back in the future. So uh, I'm here and uh, went to Star Party. I'm still doing and the uh, business a uh, little bit helping. We are uh, how we meet we came here about uh, more than 10 years. I like to you know everybody come by and uh, looking for my boot. Hey everybody, Scott Roberts here from Explore Scientific and here we are again at the Winter Star Party. Uh, this is an amazing event, it's something I've been coming to for years and years, certainly every year of Explore Scientific since 2008. For me, this particular event is very special because I've had many great friends here, especially with uh, Tippi Dioria, the founder of the Winter Star Party. Mike Reynolds, Don Parker, many great and iconic astronomers have been here. And you get astronomers from all over the world. So this is a very unique star party. You can see everything from giant doves to beautiful refractors. We come here to share with uh, the people here and to give a door prize and to somehow pay back to the community that supports us. I tend to bring some of our larger refractors. I always bring all of our eyepieces here. And uh, when I have something new, I bring that too. It's been a privilege to, uh, to be part of this. Hope to see you here next year. I've been coming to the Winter Star Party since I was, I can't even remember how young I was when I first came here. And we personally have uh, brought a 10 inch refractor that we made last year. I did the optics for the lenses. It's been really fun using the scope. I actually never get to use our own equipment and this was a perfect opportunity this time to get to know my scope, get to know the mount, and really learn how to use it better. So I'm here from nine, 1996, probably first time. We've sold already 12 or 14 telescopes of this size. Whenever weather permits, it's a perfect telescope. Uh, in terms of price, it's not as perfect as others, but in terms of uh, appearance on Winter Star Party, so it's, it's a perfect. Other than the astronomy, one of my favorite parts about coming here is Mickey's. It's the food truck that comes here, and not only do they make the best brownies in the world, I would say they also make some of the best burgers, breakfast. I enjoy it a lot because I meet a lot of new people from all over the world, feed them a lot of food. 
At all hours of the night, we're open 24-7. I make brownies. We have different kinds of sandwiches. We serve them. We have a daily dinner. Uh, the brownies are all the time, 24-7, because if I don't come in here with brownies, I'm not allowed in. Everybody loves them. They sit up there and wait and hear the timer go off half the time, and when the timer goes off, they want hot brownies. Uh, this is my first winter star party, but not my first star party, so I've got something to compare it to. This one's a lot of fun. It's very friendly. Lots of good people. Uh, you can't complain about the Florida weather in February, especially when you come from up north. So I came down here to do some astrophotography. It was a little windy and a little cloudy for that, but I had a great time anyway. I'm coming to Star Party for like the first time this time. I like it here because it's uh, south, it's warm, and I like to see certain objects that I cannot get uh, back home, plus explore the nature around me. It's very, overall, it's a very good experience, no matter what the weather is. <laughs> I came here in 2004, and I didn't currently own a telescope. So I came here and I looked through basically all the telescopes in the field where I could look through them to get an idea uh, what I was interested in actually viewing in the sky. And I had an interest in lunar planetary objects. So I had been looking through some 12 and a half F8 instruments. Tended to like that type of instrument, but I felt I needed a better mount. So I came up with a English yoke that somewhat breaks down and transportable. And I built that in 2005. It's good for what it does as far as lunar planetary. Every year I make some few changes to it, some improvements to it and um, eventually I wanted to get to Stella Fane. Love coming here, plan it every year, beautiful time. I have been attending the Winter Star Party since the original one in 1984. The atmosphere here is unbelievable. Uh, we have uh, a large group here on the West End that come from all over the country and now all over the world. There's uh, a great camaraderie here. I basically look at galaxies and galaxy clusters. In fact, the uh, night before last, we looked at some galaxies that were in excess of 800 million light years away with our eyeballs, which is neat. And I take the opportunity also to do a little bit of imaging. Um, I'm not a full-time imager, if you will. Uh, I dabble in it, and the skies here, the stability of the air is so great, and it's very dark here. It's a wonderful place to come, and you can enjoy the keys and the water during the daytime and go to Key West and, uh, and, in, and enjoy all the camaraderie available with all the astronomers here. I really recommend the Winter Star Party heartily, and as, uh, as I said before, I've been coming for a long, long time. I've been coming down here every year since 2004. I like to get down here because of astronomy, a lot of things to do during the daytime, and it's nice, good weather. And it's a great bunch of people. Been coming down here with some friends, sometimes solo, ever since then. And we hope to see a lot more people down here. This is my fourth trip to the Winter Star Party. And I take my binoculars in a piece of hand carry luggage. And 10 hours later, I'm here in the Caribbean at 24 degrees north, enjoying these wonderful skies. You can stay up all night observing stuff that we just can't see from back home. So everyone's pretty friendly and makes you feel very welcome and you get to enjoy these wonderful views. And during the day, you get to enjoy this wonderful environment and chill out and relax and enjoy the sunshine.